We are live. Welcome. Build me up, break me down, never come around. You say I left, wasn't right. We're just making around. Speed it up, slow it down, crash into the ground. Obviously, I spend a lot of time in the car driving from rink to rink, and it's kind of my life is just trying to get to point A to point B as quickly as possible so I can uh, make practice. It's a lot of planning, it's a lot of prepping, but I enjoy it and I get to stay in a sport that has given so much to me in my life. We are going to Oak Park for uh, Brother Rice High School. It's a um, Catholic school in the Detroit area and about to do varsity first, then JV, they go back to back. I don't get too much time outside of goalie coaching. I mean, I have my friends that I hang out with. I uh, go and see them a little bit, but mostly it's I'm at the rink. I am at the rink from a lot of times 3 o'clock to 11 o'clock at night. I'm getting home at midnight and start it all the next day, and um, I do it every day. I'm really on the ice all the time. Not a lot of dull moments in coaching, I can say that. Your parking lot's empty because the kids are still at school. But they'll start piling in here in the next like five minutes and get dressed real quick. Coach doesn't like when kids are late, so it's always entertaining to see who comes out late for practice and see how long they skate. EGD, Adidas, shameless plug. First practice of the day, Oak Park here, Brother Rice High School, varsity. Hopefully I can get in. I think one of my goalies, I texted him inside, but we're gonna see if I can get in the side door. All the awkward wait with the camera pointing at me, see if I can get in. Like, can you imagine when it's like 15 degrees and it's snowing and I'm waiting for the door to open? Typical day at the office. I might be in luck because I think these are some students right here. Is the code not work anymore? They did? Thank you. I love hip hop, man. That's my that's my jam. I like uh, r and I like hip hop. Um, I like some pop music. A lot of hockey players like the country music. I can't get on that train or the EDM train. Uh, that, that computer stuff, I just oh, I can't do it. But I'll jam out to some hip hop, jam out to some R&B. I'm young, so I can relate to a lot of these kids that listen to some of the popular music today. I'm not one of those uh, older guys who's 40, 50 years old that doesn't understand this generation. I think that's what helps me coach, I think, a little bit too, is I'm young, I'm only 25, and I've been doing this for seven years. And I can relate to these kids and talk to them and feel comfortable having a conversation with them about anything inside hockey or outside hockey. And I think that plays to my advantage. And I like to do it too. I like to be there for my guys. I tell them all the time, you can text me, you can call me at any time of the night. If you need something, I'm, I'm always there for them. I get the girl conversation sometimes, cute girls in the stands. And you gotta keep them focused, right? So in the back of the head a little bit and make sure they're, they're, they're there to do a job. You know, they're there to stop the puck, they're not there to worry about that. Cause everything you do, irresistible. Eight more than 92, non fictional. Six more than 93, not a problem to me. 98 degrees and 97 release. Feel like all those songs about you. I know every single thing about you. I know about you. You get a real coach life exclusive here of where I get to get dressed. All these teams have these fancy lock rooms with their stalls. Wait till you see what I get. Yeah! Welcome. So these are screen boards. So what these are is they take up space in the net. So goalies get behind them. Forwards use them too for like screenshots. But mostly what these do is take up space in the net. So goalies have to battle around screens. Makes it harder to find pucks. Kind of like when uh, forwards stand in front of the net and they try to block and uh, block the goalie's vision. That's what these simulate. So one of my goalies specifically asked for me to bring these today. So I figured I'd bust them out. See, like that. 
shoot through them, shoot, you can shoot a puck full speed at them, they don't hurt them, they're big metal clunky things. So, they're pretty cool. Always looking good. Question is always which stick do you go with? Do I go with the black one, do I go with the white one? I'm not the best tape job person, but we're gonna go with the black today. I'm just, I like how it feels. We live, baby! You cage too? Woo! Yeah. Looking good, man. No, good. I, I like it. How was uh, Heartland? Uh, we won 4-1. Good. I got the win. Good, very nice, man. Uh, very good job. Thank you. There we go. Hey, use the glove, not the shoulder. All right, use the glove. Hey, when you miss the puck, you just take out the leg, eh? Yeah, that's right. That's, that's, go, that's go. how you do it. I didn't see it. Oh, that's probably good. I saw that one, though. Oh, yeah. Nice save. Hey, it's one, it's one goal, right? You stop the next one, right? One shot at a time. You know what I'm going to tell you? What? You have an idea of what I'm going to tell you? Okay. Take a guess. Well, it it depends on where he was, right? So where he down there. So if he's here and he's got a lot of space between the net, right? We're sitting on our knees, right? He could have got you right here. He missed the net, luckily, right? But you were sitting on your knees waiting. Okay? He had all that space. There was a lot of gap between the defenseman and him too. So just make sure you time it, right? Wait till he gets a little closer or just stay more patient on your feet, get a little bit more of an overlap. And then if he starts to make his way in, then we, then we can start to get it. I just don't want you to sit on your knees when the guy's sitting right here, right? You got all that room upstairs, right? This is where I snipe, right here. Follow it off the pad, okay? Up, T-push to the post, fold, step. Full speed, everything. Good. So we'll start here. Hard push. Right out to the puck. Right back. And we'll go again. Take a break. We'll go other side now. Good. Let's get some shots on you now. Good. Good. Oh, lucky save. Watch this. Man. Good. There it is. Nice job. Main thing is just to battle through as best yeah. you can, right? Try to find it. Try to seal up as many holes as we can, especially in tight. When you look at them, it's almost like, oh, this isn't gonna do anything. And then when you start like really trying to find it. The first one, I was like directly behind that one and you shot it and I was like. <laughs> what just happened? One more. One more. in the life, that's what I like to call it. These are good kids too. Enthusiastic. It makes it my job a lot easier when you got kids that give a shit. You know what I mean? And these kids give a shit. Huh? Oh yeah? Okay. Brother Rice is one of the top high school teams in Michigan. Uh, usually they're up there every year. Um, them, Catholic Central. Um, those are usually a couple of the top teams that are in the Catholic League uh, per se. So. They're usually a good practice. Had a lot of kids come through there who want to play some hockey. So it's always a good practice. And those kids work hard. So that's a wrap here. So now we're headed to Frazier for a private lesson with Jordan Uholski of University of Alabama Huntsville. Break me down, never come around. You say I left, wasn't right. We're just making around. Speed it up, slow it down, crash into the ground. Always lost, 